Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today, tip of the day, I want to show you guys what I get a lot of calls about. A lot of you folks will do your lath, your scratch and brown, and a lot of you guys say, hey, gee, I learned this from watching your videos. I say more power to you because we need more plasters in the world today because it's a dusty, dirty job and nobody wants to do it. Plus you need like 10 years to really get good. So nobody wants to invest that kind of time. I'm going to show you something. Okay, this fellow here, he did um, the scratch and brown himself, and it doesn't look bad. However, upon looking on it a little deeper, you can see some of the inconsistencies, and that's what we're here to fix. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it and why. Okay, he says, well, do I need a bonding agent, which he purchased, and there's Merlax, there's Larson's, there's uh, Quickcrete, there's all kinds of bonding agents. He wanted to know if you need a bonding agent for the color or the finished coat. And I said, no, you don't need a bonding agent. It adheres by suction. I'll show you that. But what I want to show you is, okay, here's the wall. Now, you can see my fingertips coming up. There is a good half inch gap here. And that's okay because this texture, I can float it all in and disguise it or feather it in what we call it. You see, that's a big gap, guys. So. What I was telling him, I said, you know, you guys, if you go with finished coats, La Habra, I, I use it because it's at my material yard, but you got BMI, you got Omega, you got Western, and these are what these uh, colors look like. But we're not using a color. What we're using is the finished material. Now, if I put a, there's three finished materials. There's fine, there's medium, and heavy. So I'm going to skim coat this from here to here, heavy, just because if I try to use the 2030, which they use here, 2030 just means medium, it'll get a huge crack right here because it's too thick. Color coats are made to go one eighth of an inch thick. In some instances, when you're doing Santa Barbara, one sixteenth, I'm going to try to get away with a quarter inch with this 1620. And you see right here, 1620, that just means the grit of the sand. If it said 20 30 that means medium if it says 30 30 that means fine so let me proceed and but before i proceed say say if i take there's mud in this bucket muck color coat that's what we call it okay if i take the stucco that's another term for it or cement plaster all means the same thing and i just apply it right here you have to look at the sun okay the sun is shining right here it's 90 degrees right now that's about 11 o'clock in the afternoon so it's 90 degrees if I just put the material on right now, it'll suck up immediately and it'll have a tendency to be brittle and it won't achieve a mechanical bond. Can you use a, well, uh, um, a bonding agent? You could, but it's not necessary. Here's how I prefer to do it. I'm going to wet this. Now, here's my mechanical bond. It will adhere now by suction. Suction beats the mechanical bond of a bonding agent any day. So. Here's what we're prepared to do. Okay, now this, this product here, it was mixed, uh, this shows you how hot it is because it was kind of soupy a little while ago. Uh, this is 1620, it's a little thicker. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fix their joint for them. Okay. Just feathering it in that joint a little bit better. Now, what I told that fella is, because he was saying, well, gee, do you need to re-skim the whole thing? And I said, not really, but if you just, just apply it like right here. Now, I've got a lot of work on the other side. I'm going to put a little bit more down here, but I got work on the other side. I'm going to go there. I'm going to allow this about, in this kind of heat, uh, 20 minutes, which I need it on the other side anyhow. When I come back here, this is going to look a lot lighter. And then I'm going to take my 2030 color coat and cover this right here and go to the window. And the texture will blend it all in. So when we get to that stage, we'll show you. Okay, guys. Um, we're at a stage. We're working on a lot of things here. Jay just informed me, Dad, according to my phone, it's 104 degrees. It's hot. So what we're doing is 
after we put that on, we let it set. We could take a child, come down here. We could take a float, feather in this joint. But again, that mechanical bond is all important. Because it's so hot, now we want to hydrate these walls. Hydrate just means we're going to wet the walls down, guys. Wet the walls down. And as fast as we're hydrating it, it's drying up on us because it's about 104. It was uh, 107 yesterday, so we might just get that again, hopefully. Okay, now where I put this on, I'm going to hit it also because. I want the mechanical bond. What I'm going to do is, because we're going to be fighting the weather soon, didn't expect it to be this hot, is I'm going to show you now with the 2030. The 2030 is a lighter, lighter sand. We Now we still have to go over this. You're thinking, hey, just start from there. No. What we'll do is we go over the whole thing now. We feather it in one more time. Start. See a lot of folks who say, hey, you guys got it made. You never, it doesn't get hot where you are. Occasionally it does. This is one of those rare days. So, you see where the two materials are mixed. You cannot tell the difference. And by the way, they do have base 100 and 200, but that's beside the point. Base 100 just means white, 200 means gray, but they're the same grits. What we'll do is, I'm going to take this right to here, then go to the other side because we're done almost. To give you an example of troweling on the finish coat. Okay, one more trowel full, and then we'll go on the other side. Get out of this hot sun, and we'll leave this to fight another day with. Oh. Now this right here, guys, is ready for a texture. What's a texture? Okay, let's go on this side. This is what we were doing while we were allowing that uh, coat to dry. This was actually much deeper and much worse. So we went ahead and feathered that in, and give it to skip chow. Can you see the outline of that patch because of the color differential? You should be able to because of the color differential. But the fact that this was indented a half inch shouldn't show. Now what we do is the simple part, which is the texture. This is what I'm going to do over there, guys. But I'm not going to show that side because we are burning daylight, guys. Burning daylight. And we've got to put that camera away so Jay can help me one more time. Last, last bucket full because as soon as Jay puts that camera down, he will be helping me spread this. That way we could get it done in this hot sun. Now, what I'll do is I'll finish texturing here. Camera may not show this texture because it is the same color. And when it's uh, hot like this, you guys can spread a texture and knock it down immediately. Because if you don't knock that texture down immediately on a hot day like this, you'll end up with the Taco Bell look where it's a super heavy finish because as soon as you apply it, it's dry. Anyway, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And that's, that is the same texture. This gives you an idea of color coating around the perimeter. You just put it on, trowel it down immediately, especially when you're in over 100 degree weather. My name is Kirk. Jason's on the camera. We thank you for watching it. We're going to get busy as usual. Live long and faster. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates, so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. 
My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one. Surely you guys got better things to do than to watch the very ends of these vid videos. We'll show you what we ended up with anyway, just because we're getting out of here and Jay said so.